The FX world is being impacted by artificial intelligence in the algorithms much the same way that the equity world already has been. It's impacting both the firms, the people, and the marketplace itself. Machine learning has a couple of different advantages. Number one, it provides you a better entry and exit point. Number two, it reduces the short-term volatility risk in the movement of the instrument, in this case, foreign currency. Number three, it helps you to choose the optimal order type intraday. And number four, it allows you the earlier liquidation of losing positions. So with these advantages, many in the FX world are discovering that the AI machine learning approach is in fact not just for the quants, it's now for the regular everyday trader. And how does it work? Most people don't really understand and it's much the same in the equity space. Instead of having the constraint-based rules that normally you would apply in an algorithm, so if this then that, guardrails if you will, make sure you never crossing the spread if possible. Always try to fish in the dark if possible. Never be more aggressive than you have to be. These types of rules can help, but they're really there, like I said, as guardrails to prevent disaster. We've seen this in the equity space. Certain firms have disappeared completely because of going off the rails on an algorithm. So, constraints are necessary, but are they? And are they impacting the, the algo's performance in certain circumstances? Clearly, there's no such thing as never or always in trading. And so the technology world has been able to enable the replacement of these guardrails with what we'll call reward function. Reward function is try to get to this result and the algorithm's not given the rules on how to do it. It just knows what it needs to do. It knows what moves it closer or further from the goal. And so by replacing these constraints with a reward function, you can change the whole activity and behavior of any algorithm. In other words, the algo knows that it needs to do more of this and less of that. And as it learns this over time, it's fed order chains that will feed it uh, information. And then of course it consumes real-time market data as it exists and works in, this, in the space. It learns much the same way a person learns. It learns the trade-off between risk and reward. So the machine learning is a new way of translating, we'll call it the art of trading into the math of data and then back again. The people who understand how this works, the people who recognize that the future is the combination of math and art, and are able to get their hands around utilizing it, understanding it, leveraging big data in a manner that helps enhance the trade. This is the future of trading. This is the future of all markets. It's the future of stock exchanges and brokers and money managers. And anyone in any asset class is going to have to understand that the, the this marriage of technology and the art of human trust is going to be the, the forefront of what trading is all about. We can machine out the machine end of it. The people side of it is still required for the relationship and trust management. But at the end of the day, it's who is most effective and efficient in deploying the tools is the person that will win.